Hey everybody, it's Brian, and I wanted to drop a quick video now. I get a lot of feedback, and I do try to go through it all, but lately the feedback's been, hey, where are you? It's been like two months, and you haven't recorded anything. I apologize. I've been busy recording other things, and what do I mean by that is, well, I'm working on the Udemy course upgrades. I have a bunch of Qt 5 courses, and I've been trying to upgrade those to Qt 6. For example, I've upgraded Qt Core 6 Beginners, Intermediate, and Advanced, and part of the upgrade process isn't just simply copy and pasting the existing stuff, but actually doing it better. If you've taken both the version 5 and the version 6, you can probably see a big difference, not just in, uh, well, video and audio quality, but just how I present the material. So I try to use things like graphics and flowcharts and things like that to really underscore some of the key concepts. Um, I've been working specifically on QML for beginners, Qt5, upgrading that to 6, and widgets beginners to six and those two that's a lot of code but i've been doing both of them at once and well i'll just show you i'm actually doing this right on my recording studio this just ignore this file this is what you're listening to right now obs is just streaming it right into that file but here's my bucket for qml and for widgets so just crack this open i've got all the code done i mean all of it it's been compiled checked peer reviewed etc so forth it's actually been a long journey and I've been focused on automation. And what do I mean by that? Well, the big problem with recording, especially a giant course, is editing. I hate editing with a passion. I just cannot stand it because it's a lot of boring work, right? So like every video has an intro, an outro, and then you've got content in between and da, da, da. So for example, each and every video has an intro. That's a lot of intros, and each intro is completely different. So you have to sit there and do each one of these. And doing them manually, I mean, I've done them manually. It takes about a week to just crank all these out. So I've been working on scripts, specifically in Python, to automate a lot of that workload. For example, Blender intros. This actually runs inside of Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, it's a 3D animation tool. And it just generates this intro for me. So each one of these intros was actually automatically generated by Blender using Python. So I don't have to spend a week of my time doing it. I just run the script, go to dinner, come back, and well, all these videos are born. It's actually really cool. And I've also been looking at like workflow automation and things like that. Um, for example, if I flip back here, I use Shotcut, the video editing software. And this will take all of my recordings along with all the intros and outros and all the fun goodness and do, I want to say, about 90% of the editing for me. Whew, takes a lot of work off my shoulder. So I just focus on recording the actual content rather than playing around with editing and all that fun stuff. Um, last but not least, and maybe this is where you can drop a note and help me out here, I've been focusing on sound quality. Let me explain here. So I'm on Linux Mint. And for whatever reason, with Linux Mint, sound quality is horrible. And I mean, I have a really nice gaming headset, and I have to really pump the sound up. I have to go into like Pulse Audio and all that stuff and just pump the sound over 100% just to get it somewhere where it's acceptable. And you see here it says 72. That's misleading because I've gone in the command line and actually pumped it way over. But input, input is like megaphone loud you see input is at 65%. And this is with OBS filters in place. Even at 100%, it wasn't, wasn't even something I'd want to put anywhere close to somebody's eardrums because they die. And you, know, you just go lower and lower, but the sound quality started suffering. So I think the sweet spot here is about 65%. What you're listening to right now is what I'm going to be recording my courses and future YouTube videos in. So do me a favor, drop a note below and let me know, hey, how does it sound on your device? As soon as I upload this, I'm going to look at it on my various computers and my cell phone and my TV and those kind of things just to see, is it too loud? Is it too soft? Is my voice cutting in and out? Those kind of things. Anyways, it's been a long journey, but I think we're almost there. I'm going to really focus on recording out QML for beginners version 6 and widgets for beginners version 6. See you soon.